Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. God bless you. You are welcome to my channel, uh, Passion TV. Passion TV 785. God bless you. Hear me. Listen to this bitter truth. It is not over until it is over. Say after me. It is not over until it is over. And that is the bitter truth. The Bible speaking in Psalm 65, verse 11. Thou crownest the year with thy goodness. The best of the year is always reserved for the last of the year. So don't close that chapter yet. The truth is this, your best is yet to come. The best of this year might have not come to you in the month of January, in the month of February, in the month of March, in the month of April, in the month of May. In the month of June, in the month of July, what of August, September, October last month, even half of this month has passed. It seems as if you have not received your testimony. But hear this good news, you will still share your testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it is not over until it is over. It is not over until it is over. I have a story of Joseph in the Bible. Genesis chapter 37, if you read from verses 5 to 8, he had a dream and told his brethren, he said, hey, I had a dream that you were all bound down for me. But they said, never. It can never happen. He also had another dream in verses 9 to 11. He told his father, who was Jacob? Jacob said, no, I had fought the angel of God and have won. So you can't tell me you have a stand out, you know, a vision that supersedes my home. He said, it is not possible. He said, never. <laughs> you know, he laughed at him. He rebuked him. And if you read verse 11 of Genesis chapter 37, the Bible says his brothers envied him. His brothers envied him. And Jacob took note of his saying. He didn't allow all what they were saying to bother him. You know why? What you say about your life, what you say about yourself, supersede whatever anybody says about you. And that is the bitter truth. There is power in your word. There is power in what you say. You know, in Genesis chapter 1, if you read from verses 1 to 3, the Bible tells us clearly there that God created heaven and earth and darkness upon the face of the deep and everything was just, you know, darkness. And suddenly, because God wanted to see light and uh, it was darkness that he was seeing. So he had to speak. The Bible says in verse 3, and God said, let there be light. And the Bible says, because God has said that, light was there. Light just appeared from nowhere. That is why what you say about your life matters a lot. What you say about your destiny matters a lot. What you say about your children matters a lot. What you say about your business matters a lot. So that is why, because anything you speak, angels of the Lord will pick it and God will fix it. Anything you speak, angels pick and God we fix it. That is why you have to be careful of whatever you speak. Don't say the year is over. You can't have the testimony again. Who told you that? You are not the one that created yourself. You are not the one that created your life. You are not the one that created your destiny. So God is the one that has a final say about your life. But you just have to be saying the positive things about yourself. The year 2023 is still on. So don't close it with your mouth. Begin to say positive things about the year 2023 that is coming to an end. No matter what, that you will still have your own testimonies. And I believe so in the mighty name of Jesus. Habakkuk chapter 2, if you read verse 3, the Bible says that at the end, it shall speak. So no vision speaks at the beginning. No vision speaks at the middle. But at the end, it shall speak. The reason why your testimony seems as if it's delayed is because at the end it shall be glorious. 
There are testimonies that swallow up testimonies. The way rod of Moses swallow up the rod of Egyptians. The way the snake of Moses swallow up the snake of Egyptians. So your own testimony too will swallow up every other testimony you have had this year. I thought you were shouting a louder, amen. Let me hear your louder, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So don't panic. Job chapter 8 verse 7. The Bible says, Though thy beginning may be small, but thy later hand shall be great, shall be increased, shall be great. Therefore, I decree this year, 2023, in the few days left, I decree your testimony will be superb. Please shout a louder amen. Your testimony will be superb. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, two things I want you to do for your testimony to come quickly. Number one, believe in God and believe in his word. Believe in God and believe in his word. Everything he has said concerning you, believe it will surely come to pass. Listen to this. The Bible says in Numbers 23, verse 19, that God is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. So anything you want God to do, believe in his word that God will surely do it and believe in him. Without him, there is nothing that can be done. If any man is promising you, men are born to promise. And most of the time, they fail the promises. It is only God that we promise and we never, you know, fail any promise that he has given unto us. And number two is that begin to declare what you want. Begin to declare your testimony now. Begin to call forth your testimony. The Bible is speaking in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Life and death lies in the power of tongue and those that love it in other words those that are using it rightly they shall eat the fruit thereof those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so what are you saying about yourself declare something good about yourself may i tell you this testimony there is something i learned about our president that is our president Chinobu. You know, I look at it from another perspective. You know, this man has become Nigerian president since when he was campaigning. He was campaigning. Since when he was campaigning, he has become Nigeria president. He didn't become Nigeria president when they swore him in. There is a lesson I want you to learn from that. You know what? All of us, or most of us, were making jest of him. He said, bring this position. It is my turn. In other words, and the truth is this, the day he started saying that, he had already become a president in the realm of the spirit. Forget about how he got there. Forget about how he got there. He got there by the words of his mouth. He got there by the words of his mouth. John chapter 6, verse 63. The word I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. The word I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. So speak something positive about your life. Speak something positive about your destiny. Numbers 14, 28, the Bible says, as you have said into my, to my hair, that is exactly what I will do unto you. As you have said. That is exactly what I will do unto you. As you have said, that is what I will do unto you. So say good things about this year. The remaining days left this year. You can still receive your testimony. Something good can still share. I thought you were shouting a louder, amen. I thought you were shouting a louder, amen. Put your angels to work. To work. Put your angels to work. You have two angels every time that they are with you. Psalm 23, if you read verse 6, the Bible tells us clearly, surely, goodness, that is one name of one angel. And another one, it says, and mercy shall follow me. So those two angels, send them on an error. Go and bring my blessings for today. Go and bring my admission for today. Go and bring my husband for today. Go and bring my wife. In the name of Jesus, go and bring my sister. What exactly do you want? 2023 things are still happening. Things are still shellering. And it will shelter for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remember this testimony of God's servant. Our father, Bishop David Olani Yodepo, 
the president of Living Faith Church worldwide, he says something. When Faith Tabernacle, you know, uh, had been declared the day to be dedicated, and it seems as if nothing was working. Two months to go, and it seems as if nothing was happening, that it was not going to be possible. He didn't allow that to bother him. He entered into prayer room, and God told him, my son David, hey, how many days did it take me to create the whole world? He says six days. He said, if it took me six, if it takes me six days to create the whole world, then two months is too much. Now, the year 2023 is one month and 15 days or 13 days more. Listen to me, is too much. For your blessing to come. Oh, is too much. Anything can shell it. If God could create the whole world within six days, anything good can shell it. Therefore, I decree, as you believe right now, every of your blessings shall be released unto you. I decree, if God be God, within seven days, from today, you will share your testimonies. In the name of Jesus, that issue of concern that is making you to worry, that you can't discuss with anyone, I join my faith with your faith. I put my leg in the show of God, seven bishop, and I might decree, receive your testimonies now. In the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. I remember this testimony of one of the pastors. It happens in Ugoja to be precise. I remember vividly. You know, he sacrificed his car around 2014, there about. So he has been believing God for car. So that particular year in 2020 is what I saw. Sir, the car did not come in January, in February, March, August, September, October, November. The car didn't come the 15th of December. The car didn't come on the 30th of December, 2020. Sir, that time we had... Uh, you know, our crossover service was around, I think, 8 to 12, uh, 8 to 10, thereabout, maybe 7 to 10 or thereabout, p.m. in the night. It was not midnight. So, what am I trying to say? Few hours for that month to be over. Guess what? Somebody just came to his office and told him, and he said, Sir, please, I have a car I want to dedicate outside there. And he went out and he dedicated the car. As he finished dedicating the car, the family handed over the car key to him. They said, sir, God told us that we should give you this car right from home. And we have prepared our mind to bring the car. And this man became a car owner. Just a few hours of 2020 to cross over. So don't limit God. Don't limit God. Don't limit God. Your testimony to we shall it. Your testimony too will happen. The whole world will rejoice with you in Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. Somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you. Subscribe and like and share.